Stanford University. Basic science is the first step to doing translational science, which you know, takes the discoveries that we make in a lab like this and turns them into the kinds of applied science, the kinds of novel discoveries that lead to new medicines, new materials, new agricultural products. All of these things are driven by the kinds of experiments that are going on in this lab and other labs here at Stanford. I met Sandeep Bishwal about uh, four years ago. He's an assistant professor in radiology at Stanford. He's interested in pain and pain management. I've been looking for uh, investigators who can make specific compounds that can target pain-related ion channels or pain-related receptors. And right in my backyard at Stanford, it happens to be that Justin's making one of the most potent compounds that will bind to something that is involved in pain processing. Our research uh, really is focused in synthetic organic chemistry. And some of the complex molecules that we're interested in happen to be neurotoxins, neurotoxins associated with uh, the fugu fish poison, uh, the Japanese puffer. It just so happened that uh, things were going on in my lab that made it possible for us to consider synthesizing the fugu fish toxin, and that's really what's propelled us down this path. In the Department of Radiology, individuals radio label this compound that Justin makes we have the ability to inject it into human subjects and then take a picture of where this pain sensing compound goes. One of the things we're trying to do with, with Sandeep is to use a, a type of imaging known as PET to, to look at uh, damage to the peripheral nervous system. So through this test that we're trying to develop, we would empower people to express that their pain is real. From that, we can better manage their pain and treat their pain. Now we're getting into translational science and translational medicine, even though this all started as a very basic problem in chemistry, which was could we assemble these toxins and then could we assemble these toxins in a way that would empower the kinds of medical and pharmacological studies that we want to do. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.